Listen, if you do stand up comedy and comedy is how you get paid, then there should be videos of you doing comedy. I shouldn't have to type in just hilarious and stand up comedy is nowhere in the search engine. There we go. Okay. So stand up comedy came up first, but when I click it three years ago, five years ago, a year ago, five years ago, this say a month ago, but because Corey Holcomb was talking about you. 5150 be getting views like like crazy four years ago <laughs> i mean maybe on your instagram you have comedy i'm gonna do a live reaction of her stand-up comedy let's just take a look your girl just hilarious your very own okay that's just a promo <sighs> okay i was gonna show y'all this but for every video she has background music to where it's like, I don't know if it's copyright or not. Baltimore, what the fuck it is, dummies. Guess what? February 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Ah! Miami, guess what? I'm gonna be there. Oh. Yo, you did not just put them here for me. Tomorrow, get your tickets. She has no stand. Hold on, hold on. I was gonna show y'all this right here and this right here. And, but see, these things are bootlegged and you can't really hear it because it has a crazy echo. So, all of this stuff is bootleg type stuff. If you are a stand up comedy for real, you got bootlegs but you got professionals like you got professional clips you know what i'm saying like that's that's bootleg but it it shouldn't be that hard to find your shit he did one nine months ago three months oh that's ari spears he is stand-up comedy stand-up comedian matter of fact i just saw wanda sykes let's do wanda sykes wanda sykes stand-up was the second one that popped up a year, two, two months. That's just a, uh, a throwback right here. Y'all get the point. There are people in the industry that hide. No, people in the industry that, that the uppers, the white man, hide them until they are ready to be good at comedy. You, you know, I thought comedy, I thought they have people, I, I thought they have writers. I mean, maybe you write your own shit. I, I, I don't know. Kind of like a rapper, you know, you have writers. I say all that to say this. Corey Holcomb was, he been talking about this girl for a minute. And it's, it, he, he mentions her again because there are fake promoters fake comedians and people like that are just ruining the game. If, if stuff like that keeps on going, there won't be a game. There won't be a comedy game, you know, where people come out and see their favorite comedian. I mean, I doubt it, but it might happen if people keep scamming and you know, people coming out and see these popular Instagram people and they're actually trash at comedy, you know? So it's, <laughs> Let, let's hear what Corey got to say about this. Hell no, hey man, I wish all them niggas luck who make, who make real music, man. That's true, yeah. I can't do all the, I can't do all the fucking fake shit forever, man. I mean, like the world, man, look, they sell us fake food and they got fake entertainers. Fuck it, I said I wasn't gonna say nothing, I'm gonna say it, but fuck it. A comedian told me that they worked a club and the club, a comedy club, 
Mm-hmm. This is this is deep. Listen to this, Marcus. Okay. They work the comedy club, mm-hmm. and the people at the comedy club, as people bought the drinks, they charged them and they collected the money mm-hmm. instead of collecting the money at the end of the night. Like the full bill at the mm-hmm. end of the night. Yeah. They were charging every time they came. To and the comedian was very concerned. The comedian's like, "How they doing that? That's not." That kind of throws off the show as you making transactions while the show going right. on. Right, right, absolutely. And with them. And you have to tell me what club that is. The That's comedian right. said she went to the club manager and said, "Why are you guys doing that?" Uh oh. What they say? Did they, did they say too? <laughs> I'll tell you, these motherfuckers are destroying the game. Did they, did they, they, they said last week we had a comic that was so terrible all week they lost money because people was walking out on the bill said I'm not paying for that oh shit oh fuck <laughs> that's crazy so they got their money up front who do you think the comedian was he was black? Yeah, it was black. A male or female? Female. Less hilarious. <laughs> no! <laughs> Talk all that no. shit like it's sweet. No, go. <laughs> Talk all that shit like it's sweet. Uh-oh. But I know this comedian that told me that one line. Because I saw the oh. show. Oh, my goodness. They said the club, the, the club, the club owner said we lost money all weekend because people was walking out saying I'm not paying for that. When the less hilarious motherfucker was in there. If you don't believe me, go pay your money to go see it. Oh, go pay your money to go see it. You're going to be like, Corey told me this one shit. Oh, shit. Mm. I, Let me stop the, uh, hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this just to say this. You got a fake ass uh, shoe on the. Don't ever do that again, Corey. Take that fake shoe off the counter. That is not a Travis Scott. I started not to say nothing because it seemed like I'm being messy. It probably was 5150 who did. <laughs> this is a fact. That's a 5150. 5150 did it. You want me to find out the club? Hold on. I'm buying out the club. 5150 trolled them. Down <laughs> I'm buying out the club. Ain't no way. If somebody Marcus. said, I believe it right there. I ain't going to lie. Told I believe it. the person one line. Told it, told Hold on. I'm going to find out what baby. the name of the club you is. Cold dude, cold. I ain't no cold nigga, dog. I'm giving people warning. <laughs> I like people to keep coming to comedy shows. Man, these garbage motherfuckers are destroying the culture. They get put in shit. And then when they motherfucking get put there, they eat the whole dick <laughs> all weekend. <laughs> I know they hate going on stage. They be like, damn, they gonna fool me. <laughs> get your oh pussy ass God. to fuck up off the motherfucking stage, funk ass bitch. God wow. damn. I'm gonna find out. Okay, what? I'm gonna find out what club it was. Oh, nah. shoot. Nah. I don't give a fuck. Call me petty if you want to. Call me petty if you want to. These garbage motherfuckers are fucking up the culture of the business. Even though the culture of the business is is doing all right for people that people uh, uh, feel good about. Like San Antonio, thank you for coming out listening to the word that I delivered. San Antonio had a ball fucking with me. I was in Phoenix Sunday night. Them motherfuckers had a ball fucking with me. Matter of fact, let me put you up on game. I don't like to come out, and I be wanting to come out and be with the people. Mm-hmm. But in Phoenix, I didn't come out. I just thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> Even talking about this girl for months. And I want to see this stand up. Please release your stand up. That, that's what I want to see. Everybody else got stand up. How come I don't see your stand up? I, I want to see this. He talks about you all the time. I typed in 
just hilarious stand up 2022 still no stand up please come out with some stand up so i can laugh